Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Lava, and today we're going to be talking about Congolese warlord Zhidian Kaingu Matanga. Zhidian Kaingu Matanga was probably born sometime in the 1970s. It's hard to find accurate information about his early life. In 1999, he joined the Mai Mai movement, Mai Mai being a term for community based militias in the DRC. During this time, the DRC was involved in the Second Congo War, where an alliance of Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, and some rebel factions invaded the DRC. During this conflict, the DRC's government supported Mai Mai groups in order to fight the invasion. From 2003 to 2006, Zhidian was in command of his own militia, which refused disarmament even after the Second Congo War ended in 2003. This brought him in direct opposition to the government. During this time, Zhidian and his militia committed war crimes against the civilian population in the areas they operated in. Following campaigns by the government and the UN mission in the Congo, Zhidian, along with 150 of his fighters, surrendered on May 12, 2006. 76 of these fighters were children. Zhidian was charged with war crimes, crimes against humanity, terrorism, and insurgency. He was sentenced to death on March 6, 2009, and his wife was thrown in jail. This should be the end of the story, right? Well, not exactly. On September 7, 2011, Armed men entered the jail that Zhidian was being held at and attacked guards, killing two of them. These men proceeded to free nearly 1,000 prisoners, including Zhidian. They had attacked the prison with the objective of freeing him. Once free and with an $100,000 bounty on his head, Zhidian went back to work. He formed a militia known as Kata Katanga, which in Swahili means Sasid Katanga. According to some sources, there was another group under his command known as Mai Mai Zhidian, although the two groups were basically indistinguishable. Zhidian then began a five-year-long insurgency that resulted in the deaths of thousands and the displacement of thousands more. The most significant action of Kata Katanga took place on March 23, 2013, in which over 200 rebels carrying the flag of the former state of Katanga entered the regional capital of Lububashi and occupied it. After a short fight with UN forces, the rebels surrendered. <laughs> Kata Katanga fighters would attempt to take Lubumbashi again in 2014 but were repelled by state security forces. In 2015, Zhidian announced that he would be forming a political party to contest anticipated elections in 2017, which never happened by the way. On October 11, 2016, Zhidian surrendered along with a hundred of his fighters to Congolese authorities. Despite his surrender, many of his fighters are still active. During his insurgency, Zhidian and his forces had used child soldiers, extorted the populace, committed rape, killed civilians, and committed other atrocities, striking fear into the population. Despite having done this, he is today a free man who is a minor political figure in the DRC. That's all for Zhidian Kaingumutaga. Before I go, I'd just like to thank you all for the massive support in the Adam Often video. I never thought it would get that much attention, and now it's at nearly 1k views. Thanks for that. And if you enjoyed and learned something, consider subscribing. Peace out. Probably cop a script or boxy, y'all be kind of sloppy. Got me dodging all the body, body bagging in the lobby. Dropping out of rolling out for all of them to pop. Damn man